Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. I am currently standing in my empty foyer. I recently did a little switcheroo in here and I'm really excited to show you guys what I have going on. I'm having a great summer. I've been spending so much time with my children, just being outside. If you can't tell, I have a tan, which is really nice. I've just been living really slow with my kids, not updating as much on social media obviously not filming as many videos i know i've said that before i'm just really slowed down with this but it's always nice to do a little update it's always nice to do a little project and be able to film something and post here um, and i thank all of you who still follow me <laughs> on my house journey and just in general thank you um so i have been doing some updates to the house and i just want to share that with you guys i'm also going to do a little living room really small realistic makeover um, and you'll see why in a second okay so this is the foyer now i have been working really hard in here to add box molding as you can see i have some up in here and i still have a lot of work to do in here it's completely empty right now <laughs> there's darla um i have to figure out furniture in here nothing has ever really worked for me so i'm kind of putting this on the back burner for now while I finish the molding. So you can see I have some that's unpainted there. And then I'm also working on it um, up the stairs, which has been the largest, most complicated math problem I've ever done. And I'm going to continue it all the way up and throughout my upstairs and um, second floor. So this is sort of a side project that I'm working on. And this, was the living room but it also was the dining room when sam and i first bought the house and we just recently switched it back to the dining room so and i apologize for the echo the house is just really echoey um but this is going to work a little bit better now that my children are older i had this as a living room while the children were young and i needed a living room right next to the kitchen but now we're able to kind of reevaluate our situation. I think my favorite thing about this room right now is having this little dresser <laughs> over here in the corner. I think it looks so cute. So with that said, my living room is now over here, which was previously my dining room. So this is the room that I'm going to do a little makeover on. I moved all of the furniture in here recently. This is a new couch. And this is kind of what transpired our room switch because we loved this couch so much we had to make it work and we really needed two couches with kids and hosting and so we kept our old couch from six penny and then i bought this gorgeous leather couch um, from molly over at industrial cottage which is a local place and i absolutely love this couch one of the best investments that sam and i have ever made we just cannot wait to decorate this room because of this couch. <laughs> so we have to figure out quite a few things in this room. I definitely want to keep the furniture. Um, I need to get an actual coffee table because that is a bench that is not going to work. Um, we need a different window situation. This is something I've been thinking a lot about when we bought the house. Uh, these blinds were here and they're fine, but I like to have open windows and I don't really like putting these up and down. I think I want to go back to traditional curtains and then also I need to kind of figure out what I want to do with these shelves here. I recently decorated some other shelves in the house. So these are kind of torn apart right now because I use a lot of things from the shelves to decorate the other shelves. I've been contemplating painting them. I'm not really sure. I think I could probably get away with for now just redecorating them. Maybe eliminating some of the shelves and making them more open. I'm really not sure. You will recognize these chairs from upstairs in our bedroom. I really like them down here, um, but obviously the spacing is not correct between the chairs and the sofas right now, so I need to correct that as well. I wanna add some color in here. I'm thinking about adding some green, um, maybe like forest green, like a deep forest green. I actually got these pillow covers from Ikea. So I'm kind of thinking of maybe adding that green in here. I think that would be really pretty and maybe ordering some other ones that have that green tone in it. I think they could work on either couch. 
I also want to add some wall art. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this wall behind the couch, but I feel like it definitely needs a moment back here. And I'm thinking antique gold frames, maybe a little bit of like a collage. I've also been really inspired by just a collage of gold framed mirrors. That could be really cool. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do there yet. I need to paint that radiator there in the corner. If you remember, I did paint this fireplace recently, so this probably won't change much. I moved our frame TV over the top of the fireplace, so when that's on, it looks like a work of art, which is nice. However, I need to find somewhere to put the box that goes, that's the actual TV, which is kind of weird. Like this is the TV and then the frame is basically a monitor. So I need to kind of figure out a situation over here in the corner. We're not using these ottomans. I might sell those on Facebook Marketplace, but you can see I have this wire that just kind of goes from the TV down to the TV box. This is a subwoofer. This actually doesn't even need to be in here. It's just this box. So it's a very small box. I could probably just leave it on the floor, but it also feels like something needs to go here because there's a radiator over there. So it feels kind of uneven. I thought maybe once the radiator was painted white, it wouldn't look as uneven. So I'll just kind of have to wing it and see how it goes once I paint the radiator. Please make sure you like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram because I definitely post there a lot more often than I do here on YouTube and let's get started. First thing I wanna tackle is the window situation. I wanna get some window treatments up and I ordered these rods. I've used them in every home that we've lived in. They're a great West Elm dupe. Hanging curtain rods and curtains can be kind of tricky. I have nine foot ceilings and I wanted to hang my curtain rod all the way to the ceiling, just underneath my crown. And so what I did was I bought 10 foot length curtains from Ikea and I folded them down to the exact length that I needed. And then I'm also creating pleats in them, um, which gives a little bit more of a higher end look but definitely on a budget. And as you can see, it's just a very simple process of folding and clipping, and then they're ready to be hung. These panels are much larger than your average window, so I did have to use four curtain panels to get the coverage that I wanted. And as I mentioned before, I really like the idea of having the large window more open and available. And these blinds that are on here are a little outdated to me, but also they're damaged, and I just went ahead and decided to go ahead and remove them. before these built-ins are in dire need of some help. I have just picked them apart and kind of been throwing things on here and I really have not styled them properly ever. I mean, since we bought the house. So it's time for me to just do a complete KonMari style makeover on them. I'm going to take everything off of them. And sadly, this library style ladder is for decor purposes only and it's just not serving a purpose. So I'm gonna actually just fold it up and store it away until I find a better place for it. And luckily these shelves are adjustable. I wanted to adjust them a little bit higher. I'm actually removing a shelf and then just raising all of them up so that I can fit some larger objects on them. And here is everything I took off the shelves. I piled it all onto my dining room table and I am going to slowly pick things out of this pile that I still feel like belong on the shelves and everything that doesn't belong on the shelves will get put somewhere else.
I really love this process. It's one of my favorite things to do because it actually gives you a chance to shop your house like you're shopping in a store. And I created this first shelf to kind of give myself an idea of what I was going for texturally and as far as like color. You can see I have some neutrals, some green here and some brass. I also added in some black tones throughout to sort of complement the coffee table that I'm going to order. You'll see that in a few minutes and also the rug that I have in here. And it's just really fun to sort of add those elements back onto the shelves. Apartment number three so kindly sent me some gorgeous pillows for the living room. I let the owner know what color palette I was going for and she sent me the perfect pillows for this room. I'm so excited. I also absolutely love her inserts. The inserts that she sells on her website are honestly the best inserts I've ever ordered and I've tried a few from Ikea, Amazon. Hers are top notch and they're such a good price. Now I'm not proud of this, but I did order my coffee table from Amazon. I searched on Facebook Marketplace for the perfect coffee table for months before I finally broke down and just decided to order this coffee table. And I have to say, I'm really pleased with it. It was really simple to put together. It's tempered glass and I think it's the perfect coffee table for this room. Now something was missing in here, so I went back to my Pinterest boards and I realized what I really needed, a ceiling medallion. I love the light fixture that I have in here. It's very simple. I don't want anything too overdone in here, but it did need some touch to the ceiling because it is a large room. So I decided to go ahead and remove the light fixture that's here. Of course, I turned my power off before I did this. Um, I am somewhat electrically inclined and I had to remove a light and install my own. And then I also ordered this really, really large, gorgeous ceiling medallion from Amazon. I think you can also order the same one from Home Depot or Lowe's. These are really simple to put up. You just nail them in. You can also use adhesive if you would like, but I just use my pneumatic nailer to nail them in and then I fill the holes in with a little bit of caulk and then it's always good to paint these since they come unfinished. And I'm just painting this with the same color that's on my trim throughout the house. It is White Dove by Benjamin Moore in a satin finish. I mentioned earlier, I do wanna do a gallery wall. So I am an art and print and picture frame hoarder. So I went down to my basement and I gathered this collection just to kind of get me started of frames and colors and I took them all upstairs, laid them all out on my floor and just started playing with different combinations and trying to find something that felt cohesive with the room. I did end up eliminating most of what you see here and narrowed it down to just a few pieces one of which I decided to spruce up a little bit by painting the frame. I've never done anything like this, but I really like the way it turned out. I think I'm gonna start painting more picture frames around the house because this was so fun. I just got on Pinterest and saw some designs that I liked and I just went for it. I think it turned out really well. And this is the final sort of gallery wall that I have here laid out on the floor. Um, I have plaster walls, so I, screw a little screw into my walls to hang most of everything that I put on the walls and it holds actually a lot of weight. So that's what I did here. I just have these tiny little um, quarter inch screws that I use to screw into the wall. And I had my layout, like you saw, already on the floor. So it was really easy just to transfer over to the wall. Gallery walls are very forgiving. If you're nervous about a gallery wall, I say just go for it. You can always use command strips as well. Okay, one of the last little projects to tackle in this room is painting this radiator. As you can see, it is silver. It is painted with an oil paint. I know this because I tested it. So I am going to have to use a primer on it um, before I can paint it. 
I think most people assume that you have to remove a radiator in order to paint it. Also that it needs special radiator paint. That's not true. Latex paint is totally fine on radiators because they um, are safe up to like 180 degrees. A radiator is not going to get as hot as 180 degrees. So I like to use an oil-based primer from Kills. It's odorless. I spray that on and then I'm using Benjamin Moore latex paint in the same color that I have on my trim on the ceiling medallion and it's in a satin finish. I did not find a little piece of furniture to go over here next to the fireplace for this box, but I am going to tuck away this little cord. I'm just using these little cord hiders that I got on Amazon. These come in really handy. Um, and you just stick them on like with little command strips and then you can tuck the cord inside of them. It's really nice because you can wrap it around something. As you can see, it's going around my fireplace and against the wall there. Here's a little reminder of what the room looked like before. And now that everything is done, I'm really excited to show you how it all came together. I was surprised at how much the throw pillows helped to tie everything together. Having that one color palette between the three pieces of furniture really just made everything feel cohesive. I'm a big fan of spaces that are functional but still aesthetically pleasing. And I like tucking things away in plain sight, but having access to them still, like the TV remote, I just popped it in this little bowl, and then when my children get TV time, they can just grab the remote, it's right there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to give a room in your house a little shuffle and shop your own home, and I'll see you next time.